In this tutorial, Sandra wants to clean up the smooth edges uh, on this old time photo here. And so let's uh, give it a try. By the way, this is Rich over at TVP Live with another quick tips brought to you by Adobe Photoshop Elements Tutorials Group. And let's jump right in. All right. So what I'm noticing about this picture is a couple things is, OK, first of all, these edges here are really jaggedy. So somebody had previously, I believe, used this magic tool to uh, take away the background. Um, it obviously didn't work very well, as you can see the very thick jaggedies going on. Secondly, the photo's soft, uh, a little soft. Thirdly, it's not contrasty enough. And fourth, there's um, we could use the same kind of sepia tone color, but as we look through it, I see this kind of pinkish here. So I'm going to start with fixing this to make sure that it looks like the rest of it. And then it'll be easier to do everything else. So I'm going to take this layer. In this case, what I think I want to do is just replace this. There's a whole little strip here that's going on here. So what if I were to just grab the lasso and copy a portion from above? And I'll sit. I'll hit copy. And bring this down to here. I'm going to stretch it so that I have plenty of room to smudge out afterwards. Bring this over to here. Bring the opacity down so I can see what I'm working with here. I can zoom in and start to erase what I don't want with a soft eraser. Let's say about, I don't know, 50 and erase some of the original and then bring it down to about 20 point erase it right here i'm going along the lines from the original piece here so when i bring the color back up or the opacity all the way it kind of disappears so I'll go ahead and marry that piece down and merge it <coughs> into the uh, other layer. And now we got a little bit going on here that's still kind of not the right color. So where can I grab something similar? How about from up here? This one seems close. So I'm going to take the lasso and grab a little from here. <coughs> I'll copy that and bring that down. All I'm trying to do is just this line area. So if I can find a placement of this that's close to what's there. So I lessened the opacity so I can see both versions. I'm going to turn this a little bit. And I can see where it kind of matches up right around here. So now we just take the eraser at about 10 point. Let's go 20. Give it a little bit thicker and erase up along this line here just like that and then above it we get rid of all this stuff because it's going to show grab the lasso get rid of what we don't need anymore which is all this and then hit delete when i go back to the opacity that's at 58 percent on that layer and bring it up watch the pink disappear it's gone i'm going to right click and make a duplicate of the photo and now i'm going to work on just the dress because that's where i started so i'll go back to enhance lighting brightness control and bring the contrast up bring the brightness right there and we're just trying to build some more contrast in the dress so here's the before and look at the dress only after before after so we like this after a little bit better i'm gonna hit okay but now that we fix the dress um the face is a little off but since we've made the contrast up there's kind of a greenish tone that we need to work with so we'll go to i don't know let's say color hue saturation it depends on how harsh these um yellows maybe it is the yellows there we go it was the yellows that were too harsh so we're going to bring that down a little bit to make it a little more black and white, but not quite all the way, because this would be all the way. We don't want it to be. We want it to be a little bit of a sepia. So we can actually go over to reds and probably bring up the reds just a tad. That's not too dark. Okay, so that's mostly for her, for her dress. 
Now with for the face, we might want it to be a little bit brighter. So let's turn this off, turn the uh, one, the layer underneath on, and let's do the same thing with the face. I'm going to leave that enhance smart fix because I like what it did, but now I'm going to go to lighting brightness and bring the brightness back up a little bit. I like it right around there. That's good. So now we're going to take, uh, go back to the top layer and get the eraser. And just like in one of the previous uh, tutorials, we're going to erase just the face to bring the lightness back up. And you see it instantly gets better. And if we want, we could do that with the arms and the hands. It doesn't have to be the whole thing, just the main part that's that where the light is showing. Now, you, if you want to see exactly what we did, we can turn off the back layer, and it's going to show you exactly what we erased to get that tone that we liked. Turn the back layer back on, and, and there we go. We fixed the face and the arms. So I'm going to marry these two together by merging the top layer down to the lower layer. And now the um, slightly more uh, um, longer part is going to be cutting her out. Now she's missing some definition in hair thing. I think the hair was supposed to puff out a little bit here. So I could either use the smudge brush and try to smudge it out, but then it's going to be kind of too soft. So I'm going to undo that and go back to grabbing a piece from here and then matching it up here. So I'm going to take the lasso tool, grab some hair, and we're still working with the background, the white, as part of it. I'm going to copy this. I'm going to bring that over here. And let's turn it around to a shape that's going to be closer to what we want. And let's try that. OK, now we can take the eraser and make it like, I don't know, 20 point and erase what we don't need, which is all this part. And then bring the opacity back up to 100. And that seemed a little more like her hair was longer and it just wrapped around the back. So this looks a little more natural from that. I could be wrong, but I'm just making an artistic uh, judgment choice on that. OK, so now the next thing is going to be to marry these two pieces together. So I'm going to right click on the upper layer and merge it down. You don't have to do that. You could just leave all the layers uh, be. But for me, it's just easier sometimes, especially right now, because I'm going to be cutting this out. So and to cut this out, I could use the magic tool and do this. But you see it's cutting into the, if I hit delete, into her, her dress here. So let's undo that, undo that. And even if I less this, lessen this to like, I don't know, 25% and then use the magic tool again, you can see that it just cut out on the jagged and left a bunch of jagged lines. And that's, once again, is not what we want. We want a nice soft view of her. So I'm going to zoom in. And, and because this is so jaggy, uh, let's get a, I don't know, like a six point eraser and we're going to recreate a lot of this i think the back the black here is not her dress i think it's actually part of whatever was in the background so i'd like to cut all that out and recreate a shadow later 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 so that's what i'm going to do so with a soft eraser i'm really cutting into her dress a lot because i don't want any of the previous background to show white or black. It's the only time we want to leave the dark backgrounds in this particular photo.
if it's actually part of the uh, fo original photo. All right, so we have her cut out. Let's look what we got. And now what we're going to do is cut that out with the uh, polygon tool. So we we'll grab the polygon tool and carefully cut a, uh, a whole big polygon around between everything that we just did. You could do the whole thing or you can do section at a time. And what I'm talking about section at a time, it would be something like this. Go like this, go over to here, come up to here, come over to here, boom, 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 boom. And then I would go boom. I can zoom out to show you what I mean by section at a time. I hit delete and there's that one section. So some people who have less powerful computers won't be able to outline the whole thing with the polygon because it uses a lot of RAM. So then you just do a section at a time. Uh, let's continue. Like I said, that was the hardest part is cutting out, hit delete, the background. Um, and it's not that it was hard, it just was time consuming. All right, so now we've got this where we want it. And there's a little bit of fuzz that we might have to fix afterwards. And let's put a layer of white in between. So I'm going to hit and uh, choose another layer, blank layer. And let's use <clears throat> pure white for now. And with the bucket, paint bucket, we'll paint it in. So here she is. As a matter of fact, if we want to do some sort of drop shadow, I'm going to make the image bigger. So to make the images bigger, not the image, the background, the whole picture size, you go to image, resize, canvas, always. And whatever it says here, width, we want it, the height and the width to be a little bigger. In this case, it's up upright. So from seven, I'm going to bring that up to like, I don't know, 25 and make this uh, 20. Boom. And grab this white again, grab the paint bucket, and fill in the rest with white. This gives me a lot more to play with. Um, I like to have this extra room and then make the picture smaller later. So now we can do <clears throat> just about anything we want with this. We can uh, fix a little bit, go to image, I'm sorry, enhance lighting brightness. And let's go ahead and give a little more contrast and then brighten it up a little bit. Play with the contrast till we see something where we like it. Now this is the before and after, before and after. I really like this after a lot better. Uh, 44, let's go 50%. Really push out those whites and, and bring, it, bring out the blacks. Now that we got her here, let's go ahead and add some definition. So let's right click on that, go to edit layer style, uh, choose drop shadow. Usually I like to bring the light in <clears throat> to at a, as a starting point from this top corner. This top corner just always happens to be 135. So we'll do that and you can tell by this little line up here. I'm going to bring the opacity up all the way for now, bring the distance down, and this will show you exactly what it is. That 135, as I make a circle, you'll see it's turning around the whole picture. The angle of attack for the shadow. So let's leave it back at the 135, 135. And um, this is exaggerated. Let's make the, make the size or the uh, fuzziness of the edges really big like this. Bring the distance back a little bit. And then, and once we got it where we like it, let's go 35. Now we bring in the opacity back to what's more natural. And you just play around with this, you know, from zero to 100 until you find something you like. Something nice and subtle might be here. Right around here. Actually, I'm going to bring the, the, the uh, angle over here like this. So it looks like she's standing in front of a wall. Now let's play around with the shadow here. Um, in order to do that, because we put this effect, anything that we add to it uh, uh, will also be drop shadowed. So let's make its own layer that has uh, some uh, 
definition of shadow for her feet in her bottom here. So I'm going to go back to this layer, add a layer in between, and grab a black brush and make it nice and soft and big. Let's say, I don't know, 25 maybe? That's too little. Let's try 100 point. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Go back to my paint again. And we just want to just simulate. And I'm just doing putting a dot. Now we grab the smudge smudger. Let's go ahead and lessen that. To almost nothing. Let's go 30, 30 points. Grab the smudge brush and give us a nice big 50 point and smudge that back in to where it's supposed to be. To where it's natural. Now it's her whole body standing here, so you kind of need it throughout the whole piece. You want to kind of attach these two, smudge them together. And there we go. We added a little bit of, here's the before. And after we add a little bit of shadow right underneath her feet. And I think I can actually bring it out a little bit more from 30% to 50. That's too much. Split the difference and go 40%. <clears throat> bring it back out. And there we go. Got a nice photo of the woman standing uh, on a white background with shadows where they're supposed to be. And I think that's it for this tutorial. This is Rich calling it quits saying over and out.